Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here, and in this video I want to show you how to use Bricklink. Now whenever I have a few missing pieces for a Lego set, I generally use Bricklink to buy those missing pieces. This is the homepage which you're greeted with whenever you enter the website, and I've already got a Bricklink account, but if you're new to Bricklink, you'll have to set one up yourself. Now in order to buy Lego, the process you follow is firstly create a wanted list, then you want to add the pieces you want to buy to that wanted list, and once your list is complete, then you can shop around different stores to find who's going to give you the best price for those pieces. So let's create a wanted list, and to do that you click on this want icon at the top, and then simply create new list. Now for this video, I'm going to just call my list YouTube test and you can type a description in here, but I'm going to leave that blank and then create want wanted list. And this is what a wanted list looks like. You've got your title at the top here and whenever you add Lego pieces, they always populate in this area here. But this is blank because we haven't added anything. So let's go for it. Now in this search bar up here, you can click um, you could type in either your set name or the set number. And I'm, I'm looking to complete Benny's spaceship. And I know the set name is 70816. So type it in and then click search. You'll then be greeted with this page. There's a lot of information going on here. But what I do is I click on set. And there it is, Benny's spaceship. So click on that. Now at the top of the screen here, this gives you lots of information about the set. But the bit I'm interested in is the number of items and the number of individual parts. So let's click on that. And once you click on the number of parts, here is all the parts that make up Benny's spaceship. There are loads of them. So I want to add one of these blue triangles or blue slope 30 pieces to my want list and to do that you click on this number here. Now the, the benefit of going through the Benny's spaceship category is it automatically tells you what color you are looking for. If you scroll down a bit these are all the different colors that that piece comes in and you want to make sure you get the right one for your set. Once you're happy that that's the one that you want, you go to add to my wanted list. Now this, info, now this screen gives you firstly the picture to double check that that's the one you want, but also the condition. And if you want a brand new piece, you can click new or used, or if you're not bothered, you can just leave it on any. Type in the quantity that you want there and remember to add it to your wanted list on the side. You can set up lots of different wanted lists for lots of different Lego sets. So always make sure you're adding it to the right one. I've selected YouTube test, so let's add to want list. And it's as easy as that. I also want this piece here. So I'm going to click on that number. Click on add to my want list. Any condition. Quantity 1. And I want it on my YouTube test want list. Add to want list. If you want to add some minifigures, you can do that as well. The minifigures are usually right at the bottom of the list. And what you can either do is you can click on the first number there and you can add the complete minifigure to your list. Or if you only want a specific piece of that minifigure, you can you can click on this INV tab as well. And I want to add a hat to my want list. So it's the same process. Add to my want list. Condition any quantity one. YouTube test. Add to want list. And there we go. So let's check what I've actually got on my list back up to your want tab at the top and you can see here I've got three items added to my YouTube test and there they are. They're quantity one of each 
And if you want to change the quantity because you forgot to do it before, you can just do it all from this icon here. So I can change that to six. I want six helmets. One thing to remember, guys, is with your want lists, they're generally listed in unique items. So it says I've only got three items here, even though I've got six, seven, eight total number of items. But I've got three unique items. Once you're happy that you've got your want list set up, you then click buy all. Now, at the top here are lots of different filters you can apply. I have got mine set to United Kingdom stores only. And you can see here, here is a list of all the different shops that are selling my unique lots. I've got YouTube test selected on the left. I could select other ones as well if I wanted to buy more than one wanted list at, at, at the same time. So let's have a look at what this top one is offering. Select. And there is price per piece. So they are offering 27 pence to provide me with all of those pieces. But remember, this is price per piece only. This doesn't include postage or handling time. And to get that information, you click on the store name and you check out their splash page. What you might find is that YouTube test was quite an easy one because we only had three pieces. If you've got, say, 56 pieces like this one here, Let's go apply. It'll take a bit of time to find one. But what we're seeing here is no store will provide me with 56 pieces. The best I can hope for is 50, this top store here giving me 51. But this is where Bricklink is really, really useful. If you click on auto select and then go start, Bricklink will calculate the best way of providing you with your 56 pieces. It'll look at all the different stores and work out the best way per price of giving you those pieces. So it's saying I need to pay £3.71 to get those 56 pieces. However, remember this doesn't include postage or handling. Because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six stores here. That's six lots of postage and six lots of handling. So it will be more than that. Another good thing to remember, guys, is that these stores keep their inventory updated all the time. So if they sell a few pieces or add, in, add more pieces into their shop, that will be automatically updated. So these shops can source and provide me with the pieces I need now. But if I come back in an hour's time, they might, might not be able to. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was useful. And um, good luck using Bricklink.